Welcome back to Urban Farmer. Thanks for stopping in. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different from the normal. For the California urban farmers and many, many others are familiar with the Culture Magazine. It's a free publication. Uh, and whenever I go to my grow stop, I always make sure to pick up a copy. It's a very good publication, a very non-biased, very by-the-facts kind of publication. Um, so it's really good to use this uh, stuff to keep up with what's happening in the industry and always stay up to date with all the latest and the greatest. So today I'm going to take you inside an article. This is the May edition of the NorCal Culture. I'm going to take you inside here. Lots of good articles, but today we're going to be focusing on Uruguay jails allow prisoners to use medical cannabis. Very hot topic. Uh, of debate in the urban farmer world. So I'm going to put you down on a tripod and read you this article. Uruguay jails allow prisoners to use medical cannabis. A new motion to give better health care to Uruguay prisoners will soon allow jailed individuals to medicate with cannabis. According to Julio Calzada, Uruguay's secretary, general of the National Drug Council who recently spoke with the Associated Press. Any inmates with a doctor's prescription for cannabis will be okay to receive the herb. Similarly to this announcement, medical cannabis will also be incorporated into Uruguay's public health system, alongside services like acupuncture and homeopathic remedies. Although the estimated arrival of this policy won't go into effect until the end of the year, the members of the council will ensure that the regulations for this particular initiative are sound in conjunction with the government's overall legal cannabis market. So I think that's really cool. They're actually going to recognize that cannabis has some rehabilitative and therapeutic effects. And for those prisoners that are deemed eligible, they will receive medical cannabis in jail. So obviously there's a flip side to this argument. They're going to say, oh, well, there's weed in jail now, so... Yeah, the prisoners are going to get a hold of it and, you know, make a black market out of it or something. Well, I would make the argument if they haven't already. <laughs> but uh, obviously there's a lot of different ways this, um, this uh, debate could go. Uruguay is pioneering the way in social cannabis experimentations, I would say. So a very cool argument to be made either way. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for stopping in to this episode of Urban Farmer Culture Check. Stay tuned for the next episode. See you next time. Peace.